If there is one thing that has become my guilty pleasure or pastime is to send clips from Shine Tom Chako interviews to my Malayalam speaking friends or subscribers and ask for context because they are an absolute wild ride. An actor who is known for his eccentric fictional roles is no different in his interactions with the media before the release of his movies. A combination of unpredictability from a physical standpoint and what he philosophically intends that I'm sure is an absolute treat especially for the Kerala audience. As you know, we have an unhealthy obsession with not only cringe words the content but even absurd interactions of actors with the media this video is slightly different as i have combined not only the most awkward interactions with celebrities highlighting the poor nature of film journalism in this country but also contentious statements made by filmmakers and actors that will cause for an active and interesting debate in the comment section below getting right into the spicy content for all of you here is tried and refused productions with eight most awkward and controversial indian celebrity interviews and statements Pradeep Ranganathan the boy who is the talk of the town right now is Pradeep Ranganathan who absolutely hit it out of the park with his inventive and entertaining film Love Today that not only caused waves in the Tamil Nadu market but is doing more of the same in the Telugu speaking states I can't wait for all of you to see the film as they eye their digital release but one of the most striking qualities about the film was its accurate representation of how millennials and the gen z utilize social media in their daily life an absolute contrarian portrayal of the same with the content that mostly boasts of what can be termed as boomer energy precisely this also became clear when pradeep was interacting with the telugu media house and was being commended on his ability to take up several portfolios director also hero also <laughs> The iconic moment of referencing a popular meme went over the host's head and resulted in a hilarious but awkward interview moment. I'm a carpenter. I'm, I'm a plumber. plumber. I'm an electrician. <laughs> I'm everything. In next film, right? No. It's a famous <laughs> meme. It's a famous meme. Few people will understand it. I'm talking I about I think my cameraman knows that meme. <laughs> no. He's laughing like anything. <laughs> I'm talking about a person who's famous worldwide. So, uh, oh. you'll understand. Samajh rahe ho? Radhika Apte Monica Oh My Darling became one of the most impressive ventures from Hindi cinema in 2022 a movie unanimously loved by audiences and critics and boasted of fun performances music and a self-aware and wacky tone that came across as such a breath of fresh air in a year mostly dealing with the saturation of mediocrity the actors of course in their promotional run were not immune to the wrath of stupid and borderline offensive questioning as a reporter insinuated that Radhika Apte leaked scenes of herself from her upcoming movie so that there is hype created around the project a reference to when an intimate scene of radhika was unfortunately leaked jab aapki koi filme aati hai to logo ka aisa kehna hai ki aap kuch ek film mein acche acche scenes leak kara deti hain so kya ye sahi hai but the actress questioned this research and what followed was a back and forth that only highlighted the absolute incompetence of film journalists who are hired to attend such events just in order to feed their clickbait gossip portals ek teen example de dena ऐसे याद तो नहीं आ रहा है लेकिन पिछले कुछ एक फिल्में आई थी तो वो तो यार 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 तीन एग्जांपल दे देना इतना मैं मेरे मतलब इतना अच्छा रेप्यूटेशन है तो तुझे तीन एग्जांपल नहीं मिल आ याद आ विक्रम वेदा में हमने देखा था कुछ एक सीन्स पा रहे थे हां कौन सा कौन सा सीन था स्पाइडरमैन में हमने कुछ देखा लीक कौन सा सीन हुआ था अभी मेरे पास पिक्चर नहीं है डिलीट हो गई नया सेल फोन आया मेरे पास दिस वन गाय द वॉइस आई एम शो यू रिकॉग्नाइज इज नोटोरियस जस्ट फॉर दिस Ranveer Singh We had recently discussed the omnipresent nature of Ranveer Singh how the talented and versatile actor has definitely made it his mission to break a record of most countries and events visited in a calendar year while I'm hugely appreciative of the fact that Ranveer is not making his film appearances as regular as his attendance at random award shows a moment where he was attending the F1 and interacted with an international reporter definitely accounted for an awkward but endearing moment How are you on top of the world good stuff I I feel the can you I can feel in the exhilaration and adrenaline i've momentarily forgotten who you are so can you tell me please i'm a bollywood actor so i hail from mumbai india i'm an entertainer What I love about Ranveer in his own bindas way is that he has no qualms in introducing himself with a big smile and positivity. While Ranveer was trolled for not being recognized, I thought quite on the contrary that the man despite his animated and energetic ways handled the awkwardness with great flair and ease. 
Shreya Saran. An actor that many people are not talking about who has had a splendid 2022 at the movies is Shreya Saran. With both RRR and Drishim 2 and convincing performances in both hit films, Shreya, even through several of her interviews, comes across as a very clear, talented and for the lack of a better word, sorted artist. In an interaction with a Telugu media channel, Shreya handled a rather invasive question on her physical appearance with absolute conviction and clarity. 15 years after that, unlike so many other stars, I will answer this question the day you ask this to every hero in the Telugu industry. When the journalist pleaded innocence on her intention only being to compliment her, Shreya really did make her stance and problem with the line of questioning crystal clear, accounting for a badass but awkward moment for the host, shocked that she was rebutted in such a clear manner. People uh, started becoming shapeless over a period of time, many heroines. Even heroes do, but you don't have the balls to ask them that. Ranbir Kapoor. During the promotions of Beshram, one of the most talked about topics in gossip columns regarding Bollywood celebrities were the infamous photographs from Ibiza that were leaked and had captured Ranbir Kapoor and Katrina Kaif together. An event intended to be about the launch of a song from Beshram quite evidently transitioned to become about vultures frothing in the mouth for some bite regarding those leaked photographs. What followed was the most odd line of questioning by a journalist with Ranbir Kapoor, trying to extract a Viru-like proclamation of love from the actor. You could see the actor get visibly annoyed at the absurd line of questioning and one still wonders what or how people get hired to do this as a full-time job. Well, I have a question, I have a question. I think that Katrina Kaif is very beautiful in the picture and Ibiza is also a very beautiful place. Please go and visit it. How are you looking at Ranbir Kapoor? How are you looking at him? What can I tell you about him? Do you have fun to see him? बहुत मजा आया सभी लोगों को मजा आया तो फिर क्यों पूछ रहे हो साथ में मैंने भी एंजॉय किया थैंक यू ये रणबीर कपूर से जानना चाह रहा था मैं क्या यही कि आपको मजा आया आपने खुद भी तो देखा होगा ना मैं तो इबीजा में था ना मैं फोटो देखे मजा क्यों करूँगा मैं तो इमेजा में मजा जब आपको Anjali Menon One of the most talked about interviews, especially in film circles, has been the one Anjali Menon gave film companion South before the release of her movie Wonder Women on Sony Live. Her stance regarding film criticism was on how critics should be well-versed with how filmmaking processes lead to the creation of the final product, an in-and-out knowledge of how films get made on set and ultimately take life on the big screen. The director spoke about how she gets amused when someone says that there is a lag in a movie, further expanding by stating that one should have knowledge about editing before passing off such comments. This led to the debate where people made parallels with how one can be critical of the quality of food at a restaurant irrespective of them having the ability to make the same dish or not. This attitude is something that actually made me fall in love with the discourse on social media. How the gatekeepers who controlled the narrative a few years ago got absolutely diminished as there was free thought and discussion around films rather than just depending on a select few news publications who act like the be-all and end-all. This assumption that just because people don't have access to film sets and its processes and that deems them to be incapable of deciphering stories reeks of a condescending attitude, in my opinion. And on the flip side, I do acknowledge her point that one should be aware of what they are expanding upon in their writing regarding form, genre or basic storytelling. This is a rather nuanced topic regarding the evolution of movie discussions over several decades and I do pass on the question to you of what you feel regarding the qualifications of film criticism and whether that should hold back any anyone from having an opinion. Rashmika Mandana An actor that has achieved huge commercial notoriety in a span of just a few years is Rashmika, bagging big productions across languages that I have to say while I don't enjoy many of her balls-to-the-wall commercial ventures where she is just playing second fiddle to the leading man, showcasing several regressive undertones, I have loved her in some of her understated roles like Dear Comrade and Goodbye. In an interaction on the Curly Tales YouTube channel, Rashmika was asked about her acting journey and her comments did not fly well with those who are well-versed with her early days in Kannada. Cinema. I was just getting back to my normal college life and everything and suddenly I got this call from this production house apparently. Many users did not appreciate Rashmika flippantly signalling that her start was with some production company as one should be grateful for the opportunity given to her. Kannada cinema fans accused her of dismissing the studio that launched her with Kirik Party as if it did not have anything to kickstart her career. While no one can really for sure narrow down on Rashmika's intention behind those comments, social media went on a tirade accusing her of not being appreciative of her roots. Kannada cinema fans can chime in on more in the comments below. Salman Khan. The next media interaction is something that I don't even want to explain. 
think of it as a bonus in this video as you would not even believe that it actually happened in real life. That a person thought that they were being funny and creative with this line of questioning. That they thought it was appropriate for the event. So, that they thought so out of the box that it even had the capability to leave Salubai stumped and at a loss for words. And that was the video guys. Write it down in the comments below whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handles are right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.